baseboard heating system uses what sort of method of heat transfer? We have uh, A, radiation, B, convection, conduction, radiation, C, convective currents, D, hydronic VAV. Uh, so first thing here is we can get rid of D. Um, now, it is in fact a hydronic system. Hydronic just means that it's got uh, water or actually any kind of fluid, but uh, typically water uh, running through. And we know it's a hydronic system because we can see the pipe. Uh, so this is a hot water baseboard radiant system. Uh, the reason we can get rid of hydronic VAV, though, is because of the VAV part, which is uh, variable air volume. That's a reference to an air-based system and doesn't have anything to do with hydronic. And so uh, it's just not appropriate. Uh, the, the whole answer doesn't make any actual sense. Uh, so our choices are between A, B, and C. And let's just talk real quickly about how this system works. So I have hot water coming from somewhere a boiler presumably, that goes into that pipe. That pipe is filled with hot water and it warms the pipe up. Uh, that uh, is a uh, convection process, having hot water flowing through the pipe. Uh, the conduction between the pipe and then these metal fins, so you see all these metal fins uh, on there. Those metal fins are set in order to get the heat from the hot pipe that has been heated up from the hot water. And then those metal fins then radiate heat out into the space, right? So this is clearly a radiation system. This is a radiator. It is a radiation system. However, if you look closely, you realize that uh, air can also come underneath into that space. So it is both a radiator and then as cold air sort of drops in the room, it gets sort of pulled in by the warmth of the, this, these little fins, these radiators. And then once that air gets in there, it becomes warm air. And what does warm air want to do? It wants to rise. And so that warm air is going to rise up and it's going to come right out that vent at the top. So this is a radiator that also has convective currents. So essentially what's happening here is I have convection with the hydronic element, I have conduction between the pipe and the fins, I have radiation uh, happening from the fins out to the space that's radiating to, uh, from one body to another, i.e. these fins to you as a body. Uh, and then uh, I also have convective current, which is another, another example of convection of air moving up through the system uh, and then washing the wall above it uh, with a heat blanket. This is typically uh, done, well, not uh, most of the time it's done below windows uh, and that warms up that wall and stops condensation and helps uh, lessen the problem of a cold window uh, in the space. So the answer here is going to be B, convection, conduction, and radiation. It's the best possible answer out of the various ones we have.